Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 11 of my Black Widow Challenge. And here we are with Aspen in her, I guess, last stage of mourning, I guess you could say. She has about 14 hours left and that's just from the funeral. She's kind of over the other moodlet, but she does have a little bit of morning sickness. She's out making breakfast. And she is very close to her second trimester. So at this point, she has to tell Wendell. But she has decided that she's not going to automatically let him know that he's the father. Because honestly, somebody posed a question. One of my friends that watched my video said, what if it's not Wendell? What if it's the repairman? And I was like, I don't think so. I very much think it's Wendell's. But we won't know until the baby has aged up to a toddler and look at its genealogy. But anyway, ooh, stove is dirty and counter now. Um, if he doesn't automatically believe that it's his, which he's probably not, because they only woohooed that one time. So she's just not going to let him know right away that it's his child because it's not part of her plan to be pregnant right away. And Wendell's a good sim, and as you can see, she made over his room, gave him actual bed, some furniture, took everything out. She moved her little paint station outside. And it's uh, kind of, despite no one really knowing her business in this town. Oh, now you hit us up? Bro, you have not talked to us since we were at your apartment, and then you invited us to a nightclub? No, bye. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Anyway, and honestly, I don't. I didn't know what to do, so that's why I kind of haven't been playing this household. So, ooh, yes, we need to clean up, and I want her to be over this sad mood because it's back and forth. It's a little frustrating sometimes. Let's see what else. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, she has six hours until she's eating, um, until she's, sorry, on the second, second trimester. And she has morning sickness. Because she's been having morning sickness, but honestly, I feel like she's trying to hide it from Wendell herself without me even trying. Because she pukes in the bush that they have in the back. She never goes and pukes in the bathroom. Wendell's up. Um, <clears throat> since you're not that hungry, come and clean this. And clean that and then I guess you'll grab yourself a serving and honestly Aspen hasn't really talked to Wendell since the funeral so she's been keeping her distance and the Wendell he's worried a little bit but he still wants to woohoo with Aspen because you can see she's not really showing she did look like she gained a little bit of weight but I know once that second trimester hits she gonna pop for real Girl, hurry up. Eat your spinach patata. And then come use the bathroom. Windows cleaning up for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then you will come and change outfits because you don't really need to shower. What shall we put on today? Hmm. Let's be comfortable. <clears throat> I mean, I, not completely come used to got on heels, but, you know, a loose shirt, nothing too tight. And then I think we will come and tell Wendell. Or should we wait still? Let's see. Cause let me see what she looked like in this. Slight pudge. See, she about to go puke in the bush again. Go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that's nasty. Now you need to shower. Yeah, go cry it out. Because this was not part of your plan. That's the real reason why you're sad. You were intended to be pregnant. And you know Wendell's a good person. And honestly, part of the reason why she doesn't want to get too close to Wendell, especially now that he, he's possibly the father of her child, she doesn't want to put that scar on her child like what her mother did to her of having a parent kill another parent. So come and take a shower, girl. Stay in the shower. I wonder if that will help your mood a little bit. Because let me see, how close are you to being... In four hours. Please put on the same outfit. And what do you need to do, sir? You need to cook for work. And you work today, right? Yes, you go to work in five hours. Come clean this up. Clean up. Put away. Ooh, that is nasty. She is making everything dirty. Come and clean. I don't know if you can. They woohooed one time. Let her clean it. Okay, she did put on the same outfit. Clean. Because how much longer of this sadness? Nine hours. Jeez. She's having a rough first trimester, isn't she? She forever up and down where her mood swings. And she keeps puking. Um. So, Wendell, come here. And... Discuss interests. Try to cheer her up. Make funny faces at her. Let's see if that make her feel a little bit better. Oh, well, you need to socialize anyway. So all of that just canceled out, really? Talk about art with her. Um, ask about her day. Discuss interests with her. Um, share photos with her. Get to know her. Discuss her sad mood. I love these new interactions that come with parenthood. It makes it tell her dramatic story. I want to do that try to cheer up because that will help. Where to go? Friendly. Share a secret with her. I don't see it. Offer her a massage. Lord, you are upset about having a clean. Um, now let's get her to complain about problems. Because we got to help you get this down a bit. Tell engaging story. Ask for advice. I don't want her to tell him until she's like actually really in her second trimester. So we got about two more hours. Um, you'll vent to her because we need to get all y'all out of these bad moods. Have a deep conversation with her. Wait a minute, y'all just hanging out in the bathroom. I just realized this. Like, we just having this big old conversation in the bathroom. Complain about problem. <clears throat> Come and sit and chat here. Because this is really where y'all just chatting this up in the bathroom. But at least the conversation is pleasant. Y'all just both in bad moods. Oh, well, she wants to go cry it out. You're going to go sit. But you need to do some stuff for work. So let's bake. Oh, she is really crying. Um, Bake her some oatmeal cookies. You'll do that before you go to work because you have to go to let her sort her moods out. She's got a lot of things going on right now. 
um, come in, do sad painting. Cause did that help any other? Okay, we're down to four hours. Okay, cause this is not the usual Aspen. She was even happy throughout the funeral, but for some reason, that's why I'm thinking she's more upset that she's really pregnant. It's gonna make her some oatmeal cookies. Oh, she got a fat painting. She did another one the other night. Got put on the wall. Then I put it in the hallway. She painted that last night. We made her some cookies. She'll come over at a survey after she finishes her painting. You need to clean the bathroom. Where's Foxy in the kitchen? You cleaned up everything. Do you need to clean up the trash? No. I don't know. I don't see nothing. Is this called food in the fridge? No. I don't know. Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, uh, hurry up. Let's see if this one is worthy of keeping as well, or do we want to sell this one? I think we'll sell that one. It's not bad, but I don't know if it works. Grab you a cookie. Oh, dang. I think she's in her second trimester. Yep. Third trimester in two days. Okay. Wait, is he going to work already? Dang it. Okay, well, I guess he'll find out when he comes back home. Bye, Wendell. Her boobs are huge. Wendell's off to work. She's going to have that. She actually needs to go visit Caleb, though. And let him know the deal. Because Caleb was supposed to be helping her with her vampire stuff. So now they know they got to put that plan in a hole now that she's pregnant. Girl, please eat the cookie. You're going to need to pee as well. Ooh, Spice Festival's in town. My Aspen is pregnant. Oh, goodness. Uh, and you're still hungry. Oh, we can't. Oh, really? Really, Victor? She's hungry, Victor. Well, we were going to go see Caleb, but um, hey, Victor wants to take us out to dinner. Sure, why not? All right, here we are at the restaurant. Let's go ahead and request a table. This restaurant really doesn't have a private area. But Victor's the one that chose it. He's out with his pregnant mistress. But she ain't pregnant with his baby. <clears throat> and why you go all the way over there, Victor? <clears throat> I mean, we haven't hung out with Victor in a while. Um, let's go ahead and order for table. Um, she will have. Uh, yeah, she has some common chamomile. Victor will have the wine. She will have... Both of them will have the same thing. Okay. Go ahead and order for the table. Um, so, ooh, yeah, their romance bar is way down. So we're going to um, ask him about his day. You haven't talked in a while.
equator with his pink hair. Okay, go ahead and talk to Victor. Ask about... Let's see, can we ask about Lily? No, we can't. Oh well. Who is this? Who is it? Oh. Um friendly. My choice is deep conversation. Romance. So we'll blow him a kiss. Let's see if he takes the blow a kiss. If not, we might have to work our way back up to that. Talking about her husband's death. He didn't know. Um. Okay, he's taking it. Okay, okay. Compliment his appearance. Um. Flirt. Friendly. Um. Have another deep conversation with him. Romance. Confess attraction. And blow a kiss. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's chill. He didn't take that. Um, compliment his outfit. <sighs> you invited it out. Ooh, you invited her out, Victor. Don't play games. Um, brighten his day. Waiter, can you bounce though? Like, thank you. That's really irritating. You're just hanging out at the table. Ooh, game. We might need to make Victor the husband though, because he got that money. Um, let's just do flirting. Let's stick to just flirting. Um,. Cause this is not even registered as a date even though he invited us out I don't know why it keeps doing that brag about possessions I guess you only shouldn't be doing that right after you who is just walking in my sight move really rude so I say girl if you don't eat cause you are hungry cause this is not doing nothing for your stomach you gonna need dessert. Um, blow a kiss. Let's see if he'll take the blow a kiss again. Cause at least the conversation is still pleasant. I don't wanna waiter. I'm gonna need y'all to stay out of my sight. Like, I'm trying to change angles, and y'all just being rude. See, I can't go that way because of the table that they're at. Okay. <laughs> Was he just side-eyeing the waiter? Like, why the fuck he's still here? Okay. Talking about himself, as usual. Come on, uh, give me something more. Do a sexy pose. And a flirt. Okay, the waiter left. 
But then they left these plates right here, like for real? Okay, now he's being more, he's taking it now. Okay. Do not throw up, Aspen. <laughs> you on it. <laughs> oh, should we ask him for some money? Can we? Because we haven't paid back that last loan. Um, let's see, where is it? Oh, see? Yeah, we can't because this ain't repay loan. Dang. Booty. Um, romance. Spoiled kiss. See, we can't go back to her place because she don't take nobody back to her place. Especially because Wendell might come home. And last time we went to his place, the wife was there. Okay, let him go to the bathroom because like that's what he's trying to do. And we need to figure out where we're going to go. Because I feel like Aspen's a little frisky. Even though she's in her second trimester. Where, you, where are you going? You have one on your table and you're going to go view one at another table? Girl, if you don't take your tail, matter of fact, since you're up, go use the restroom. I low-key really want to try his place again. If the wife is there, we going to bounce. Because we're not trying to fight with Lily. We're too pregnant right now for that. But we probably need to try to convince him to leave his wife. Right. Uh, okay. Oh, girl, please. What am I doing? Focus. And pay for a bill, but I don't want him to leave, though. So, friendly. Yeah, see, he's about to leave. Okay, no. Um, ask to hang out. There we go. To make sure he doesn't leave. Ask to hang out. Okay, and then we will travel with Victor. Hopefully, Lily's not at home. All right, here we are, guys, at Victor's penthouse. And let's pause and, oh, girl, you about to puke, would you? Oh, you about to kiss him. But let's see if Lily's home. Damn it. That bitch is home. Hmm. We'll see. Let's see. Um, Victor, where you going? Um. More choices. Romance. Caress his cheek. Sexy pose. Even though you are hella pregnant right now. But it's alright. She's still gonna be. She bold as hell and do it. Right in front of Lily. Right there. Are oh, they gonna go all the way upstairs? Lily know what it is. She can't do nothing at this point. He already been caught before. Oops. Auto save. She got that thumbs up. You like this penthouse, don't you? Uh, let's see. What else do we want to do? Kiss his neck. Woohoo with... Lily probably still gonna come upstairs, but we're gonna try it anyway.
Let's see. Lily might not come upstairs or she might be too late. Are we being gentle because she's pregnant? Y'all real quiet in that bed all of a sudden. Ooh, they about to finish and Lily still ain't come upstairs. No sparks, but it's all right though. She was still completely satisfied. She can go ahead and go to sleep. And where Lily at? She over here on the computer. Is she, whoa, she thinking about stuff too. Hold on, let's MC. No, she's not. At least I don't think if I'm checking correctly. She's not. But she's thinking about it. Ooh, Wendell got promoted to caterer. He will now make an additional $10 per hour for a grand total of $26 per hour. He has also received the following bonus, $368 stainless steel auto pot. His next shift is Saturday at 3 p.m. Well, sir, take care of yourself. Um, yeah, care for yourself because uh, Aspen was getting her knees taken care of. And she's legit up here still just sleeping. Victor done put on his, his night outfit. She's sleeping naked in the bed. Well, I'm going to see that my reaction in the bed. I guess Lily don't care no more. Cause I just gonna stay married. Well, he is a politician. <laughs> this is funny to me. Like, for real? I wanna get a little bit more sleep before she head out. Cause once she start cooking, she ain't gonna be able to. Then I'll kick her out. Ooh, you wanna sleep right here. All right, girl, wake up. It's 6.30 in the morning. Uh, come and use the bathroom. Take you a quick shower. Let's see what we got here. You want to make out with Victor. Or you want to read more of your vampire book. Victor would need to wake up soon. But you are super hungry. Unless we just have some. Oh, Lily is cooking. But she's probably making a single serving. Let's see. They probably don't have anything in the fridge. Of course not. Uh, let's have a quick meal. If it'll come up. Have a quick meal. Some yogurt. You always, oh wait, hold on, he up. See, all you guys are coming back at her now, now that her husband is dead. Um, okay, it's a rabbit hole, but we'll see. Um, come and kiss him. Come and kiss Victor. Come back upstairs, Aspen. I know you hungry, but you gonna get some food. Or is he coming to you? You gonna do it with Lily right there? If that's your prerogative, Victor. Oh dang, see it canceled out. Where he at? Is he still upstairs? Yeah. Come. More choices, romance. Caress his cheek. Oh, I forgot, you probably have to be, y'all have to be in a relationship to ask to leave. Why are we still doing this downstairs? With Lily right there. It's alright. We might as well just progress this. Pick up line. 
kiss hands. Um, where is it? Kiss. You stayed married to him, Lily. Oh, the fuck did he just push her? Hold on. He done lost his mind. <clears throat> You want to fight, Lily? We not. I'm. <laughs> we can do this. Why are you so shocked? Uh, rude introduction. Uh, we'll play it like this. Share big news. Even though he gonna know it's not his. <laughs> Invite to feel baby. Um, more choices. This is not what I was planning, but acts to be boyfriend. Yo, what just happened? Cause he's angry for real. Uh, romance, ask to be boyfriend. Cause I know he just pushed her and all, but we just gonna. We gonna end this real quick for you, sir. Cute. Um. Flirt. Kiss hands. Did she leave? Oh no, she's calming herself down. How can you gonna try for a baby girl? You already pregnant. Um, offer him a rose. <laughs> Attempt to seduce. And we got new partner. And she did get one of her goals. Okay. Let's eat the chips, girl. I wanted you to have some yogurt or something, but it's all right. Um, sexy pose with him. Because Lily going to stay here. Convinced to leave spouse. Did it work? Hold on, did it work? I don't know. I've never done this before. Oh, it did. Oh, game, stop lagging. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Aspen has convinced. Hello. Aspen has convinced Victor to leave his spouse. Go ahead, Aspen. So, whisper sweet nothings. Let me see. Let me check. Will it show up? Come on. Game, why are we lagging so much right now? Romance. Uh, or friendship, whatever. Boyfriend, lovers. It doesn't show he has any other relationships. Okay. Yes. 
Where are you going? Oh, he's going to clean up. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. So this is not what I would plan, but Victor invited us out and set a chain of events going. Um, hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and kiss him. Yeah, so go ahead and leave your comments down below. Hit that hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys, bye. Girl, you're not going to go kiss him? Go slopping him down. Where he go? Oh, there he is.